News from China. August 8, 2023. 42 countries discuss the Ukraine issue in Saudi Arabia. China's foreign exchange reserves have increased for two consecutive months. A Chinese-Russian naval fleet simulates the destruction of enemy submarines in the Bering Sea. Why are there so many extreme weather events this year? A recent international conference on the Ukraine crisis was held in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and was attended by representatives from Western countries as well as China, India, Brazil, and South Africa. China's participation in the conference has been seen by some as a diplomatic reward, but analysts believe it does not indicate a shift in China's policy on Ukraine. Russia was not invited to the conference, which has been criticized by Russian officials. The conference aims to achieve international consensus on a peaceful resolution to the conflict but faces challenges due to differing positions among participating countries. The conference is seen as a significant step in the ongoing efforts to find a peaceful solution to the Ukraine crisis. According to the latest data released by the State Administration of Foreign Exchange, China's foreign exchange reserves have increased for two consecutive months. The rise in forex reserves is attributed to factors such as the weakening of the US dollar and the overall rise in global financial asset prices. The authorities believe that China's economy has strong resilience and potential for development. Therefore, the forex reserves are expected to remain stable. The People's Bank of China and the State Administration of Foreign Exchange have also emphasized the importance of closely monitoring cross-border capital flows and managing exchange rate expectations in the second half of 2023. Last week, heavy floods in the northern region of China, especially in Beijing, drew national attention. Many were puzzled as to how Beijing, known for its dry climate, suddenly became a waterlogged city. While summer storms are not uncommon in the region, the intensity of this year's rainfall was unprecedented. Experts are investigating whether an underwater volcanic eruption near Tonga in January 2022 could have contributed to this extreme weather event. This eruption released less sulfur and more water vapor into the atmosphere, leading to a warming effect rather than the usual cooling associated with volcanic eruptions. The injection of water vapor into the stratosphere increased global water content by 10% to 15% and likely caused a global temperature increase of 0.035 degrees Celsius. However, the specific impact on weather patterns and the long-term effects remain uncertain. This event highlights the risks posed by climate change, with extreme weather events becoming more frequent and severe in the future. Chinese and Russian naval fleets are conducting their third joint maritime patrol in the Pacific, which includes search, escort, and simulated destruction of enemy submarines exercises. During the anti-submarine exercises, both sides are using sonar and helicopters to search for underwater targets and launch rocket-propelled depth charges for attacks. So far, the fleet has sailed over 2,300 nautical miles, passing through the Sea of Japan, the Soya Strait, the Okhotsk Sea, and the Bering Strait, conducting various joint exercises. U.S. officials stated that Chinese and Russian warships had sailed close to the Aleutian Islands but did not enter U.S. territorial waters. The U.S. military deployed patrol aircraft and several warships to track the Chinese and Russian naval fleets. Some media speculate that this joint operation between China and Russia is aimed at expanding their influence in the Arctic region but military experts have emphasized that the military cooperation between China and Russia is for the purpose of jointly maintaining regional peace and stability. This video was created using Pictory, an amazing AI-powered video maker, you'll find a 20% off promo code in the description. Also, there is a selection of budget-friendly and highly effective self-defense products from AliExpress, that you may find really useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and follow the Eli CN News channel.